So, so be willing to use those people that have those talents. Don't take it all on yourself. Look around and see what they can do. Now, this is probably a shock to some of you guys, uh, but I'm bald. <laughs> now, it would be easy for me to, uh, you know, try to hide it. Bosley, I thought about it. <laughs> Hair club for men, thought about it. It's too expensive. But, you know, I decided I'm going to embrace this. <laughs> I, sometimes, I did it at NYC, it was very popular. In fact, kids come to me all the time and say, you're that plunger guy, right? Well, I do not know anything about plumbing. But I can't wear a plunger on my head. <laughs> and to be honest, it's pretty sweet. It really is now. First of all, make sure that it's a one fresh from the store. Uh, and also, smell it before you use it. Each time. Okay? But, you know, as silly as it might sound, I took something that I could ignore, and I made it into something special. I'm bald! I stick a plunger on my head! And you know what? For some kids, that's the funniest thing they're ever going to see in their entire life. For some adults, it's the funniest thing they're ever going to see in their whole entire life. <laughs> now, of course, I don't wear a plunger all the time. And if you did it all the time, you know, it wouldn't be really <laughs> funny anymore. But the bottom line is, we all got certain things we can do. Using voices. Maybe you can talk like Barney. Like me, hopefully. <laughs> or, or maybe you can do like a really good Mickey Mouse. Ready? I'll, I'll do it. Anyways. Um, you know, but we've all got things we can do. Maybe you can dance really good like a robot. I can. But whatever that is you can do, make it into a big deal. Turn it into something cool. And make the kids be like, you're the person that fill in, you know, fill in the blank, whatever. And you know how much that costs? Absolutely nothing! And you know, I think that makes my pastor the most excited. I'm like, Pastor, I came up with this really great idea. He's like, how much is it going to cost? Okay, I'm, I'm like, I'm not the sound ministry, I'm not the music ministry. I'm the children's ministry, and we're free. Actually, no, we're not really free. But I try to be as cheap as possible. And you know, honestly, first of all, if you are, if you are as cheap as possible, I guarantee you, when you actually do need something, they're going to be a lot more willing to help you out with it because they realize, hey, you know what? They're not wasting money. Now, they're being responsible. In fact, you know, we put these things on uh, for camp. And, and uh, at the time, a couple, like last year, uh, the bishop of our church was over the Ohio district, and he said, how much money do you guys need? I said, for what? Well, for the stuff you, got, you guys are, you know, the, you have the whole week, every single night. I said, well, we're just going to, you know, mm -hmm. we're just going to bring a projector we already got. We're just going to use that. And, you know, we, we kind of got decorations already. We need to reuse some other stuff. Nothing. I mean, you would have thought. I mean, I mean, it was awesome. He was shouting. <laughs> but guys, you got to be responsible. You can do a lot of these things, once again, for, for cheap. So don't ever use that excuse. Do not use that excuse. I hear too much. And I keep harping on this. Never use money as an excuse why you can't be creative. You, it, don't ever use an excuse not to be creative. 